Just why not? Just why not fuck up, right? I got something for y'all today, man. I got something for y'all today. I just, I, this is a little quick, sh- little, I know this is really lame. Like, what is this? This is just my camera nest. I just, I wanted to come here by myself first to let y'all know. I got some shit tonight for y'all. Let's throw some music on there. Here we go. Very nice. This is a, one of my first projects I ever did as like any kind of content creator. This was an old podcast I used to do with Fresco's brother uh andy and me and andy used to do this podcast called side splitters and we that's pretty much where me and fresco got so cool with each other and on top of that <clears throat> we found another community another uh podcast along the way called countdown to geek town that we collaborated with a ton with you know it was just such a good time with them too uh so i thought for christmas this year i would uh bring that back and have one more one more christmas episode of side splitters so without further ado let me introduce you guys to the original homies from way back when on the internet side splitters and countdown to geek town here we go and we're live what's up boys what's happening hello i hope that was a good enough intro for everyone (laughs) i I don't know. I couldn't. I, hear. I gotta be. I gotta be honest with you, homie. I I didn't hear a damn word, and I <laughs> didn't use the tab yet. Nope. Really? Yeah. Yep. Is your push nope. to talk? What a dumb bitch I am. No, it's not on. I mean, how? I, <laughs> you guys wouldn't be able to hear me if it was. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Uh, so this is this is side oh, over here to my. Oh, sorry, I'm doing it backwards. My left is side splitters. At the top left, we have Andy. And bottom left, we have everyone's favorite DMG member, Fresco. Hi! So, Christmas! Top right, we have... Uh, man, I don't know what to call you, actually. I'm not quite sure what name you want to go by here. We'll go Silent Mace for now. Because <laughs> they can identify with you in the chat. Silent Mace, and what Hello. is your Twitch name? J something, I called it. J Privet, right? Jay That's Privet me. at the bottom, yep. right from Countdown to Geek Town. Uh, so yeah, this is the old show, guys, and tonight we are going to do a bit of a game show. This is what we did years ago as a Christmas episode, obviously without all the production value. Holy shit! Uh, uh, yeah, Merry it's Merry nice. Christmas, Merry Christmas Merry to you guys as well. And something else kind of cool. Uh, we actually have a mascot. We have Gaston right underneath of me. That's Gaston, the greasy Christmas Greek gator. <laughs> it's a side splitter's okay. mascot. Actually, the Gaston, gator. But... Gaston has a friend tonight, too. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you see next to me, joining me and also wearing their festive hat <laughs> is Francine. Ooh. All the callbacks. All the callbacks. Francine with uh, antler hat on. Is that what it is? Yeah. Antler, little antler hats and jingle bells and whatnot. She's yeah. jingling her bells wow. with the children. Wow. Good fucking segue. Speaking of for the children, uh, we are doing this whole thing as part of DMG's holiday charity event where we are supporting Child's Play, the charity Child's Play. If you don't know what Child's Play is, it's basically... Someone correct me if I got this wrong in the chat. Uh, it's where we get video games to kids in hospitals and domestic abuse shelters, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a really dope organization, and we have fucking kicked the doors down on the goals that we set for this thing so far. At first, we had 500 of a goal. Me and Fresco knocked that out night one. That was done. Then we had, wow. what was it? Wow. 650 Congrats. of a goal, and we ended up getting that. Then 850 with Runa Stream right before us. We just broke that one. Now we have a new goal of $1,000 for this charity event. Shit is going nuts. The QR code, what about it? It works. It works. No, up underneath it, a QR code, you Jack act, Jack wagon. Actually, let's let's keep our side splitters right, label up to date. We're, we're, we're bringing the wagon back, people. <laughs> Jack the wagon. Yes, Jack wagon. Anyway, my, name's wagon. my name is wagon. He <laughs> <laughs> shall henceforth be known as wagon, and that is all. Uh, so we actually have. Uh, can they all hum the Super Mario theme song in unison? No. No. Not in unison. <laughs> There's no, no way we can do it in unison. Yeah. Uh, but here's something I can guarantee you they can do. And oh man, it's a good time for this. There is a segment we used to do on this show. 
ladies and gents, where it was called Make the Case. Make the Case was a simple game. Basically, I would give the boys here a scenario and they would have to convince me that they're on that side. You know what I mean? I, it'll it'll be a little bit easier once we get into it, but uh, I have one set up for all four individual guys here. And we are also going to be running a score secretly. I'm, you guys can feel free to keep track of the score by yourselves, but I'm not going to display it on the screen just to build a little bit of suspense. But I do have over here a score counter for both side splitters, or excuse me, side splitters ooh, and Team Geek Town. There we go. Uh, so with Make the Case, I am going to be judging you guys on uh, energy, focus, and of course, it wouldn't be side splitters if I didn't judge you guys on clarity. So focus, energy, and clarity. You get a point for, you know, knocking, checking each box, you know, and uh, that's it. So up first, I was kind of thinking to ease everyone into it. We would go with DMG zone fresco. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind. Uh, I figured a nice right, way to start off side splitters with a nice round of make the case for everyone. And Fresco, tonight, I want you to make the case why you should consider Santa's diet parameters and leave a gluten-free vegan snack rather than milk and cookies. Oh, this ought to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Use a song, bitch. You know that, right? Now, uh, just so everyone's aware. Behave in, in this. <laughs> Oh, you do? What do you mean? <laughs> now, Fresco, once you begin, I am going to uh, ask that you do it in 90 seconds, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one, 90 seconds, bud. All right, so listen, Santa needs to have his gluten-free, low-sugar, low-carb diet because we want him around from now until the end of time. So in order to have that happen, we need to give him these these low glutinous materials for him to ingest that will give him energy for his night's ride throughout all of the world. Because if we keep giving him sugary cookies, he's going to get the beatus. And I, I, I know what it is all about to have the beatus. So to, to, in order to keep myself alive, I now have to eat the less glutinous snacks and the, the sugar-free things. So we need to keep Santa happy, we need to keep him healthy, and we need to go ahead and give him some carrots, some celery, some broccoli, like some shit that'll pep him up and get him through the night on that sleigh, delivering the toys to the chitlins. That's what we need to do. It's all for the health. Gotta keep him happy. Gotta keep him around. Because without Santa, there's no Christmas. There's no joy. There's no love. Nothing. So while you're fizzling out here, what about digestive issues? Can I just throw that at you real quick? I mean, if you <laughs> give him the broccoli and everything, it will it will tighten things up, and it'll it, he'll he will poop better than he has ever pooped before. All right, all that shut up, bro. All that all that fiber in his diet. That's time. <laughs> That's time. Together. Oh man. So I just want to point out that Fresco was the one saying that he only works with professionals, but keeps his mic or cell phone, phone loud on. as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. So, um, yeah, that, that, that was, that was acceptable. That was acceptable as an answer. I, you know what, do I grade before or do I grade now? Hmm. Let's do now. No, we'll do before or after. I mean, not, not, yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, if you before want to try to do it before, I'll see you do it. <laughs> That would be great. <laughs> I'm flailing. Um, <laughs> all right. So that that did well. Uh, that was that was a great kickoff. Thank you, Fresco, for that. Let's uh, let's switch over to Team Geek Town, though. Which one of you guys want to go first over there? I'll let you guys decide. Not it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> The J man. Ninety seconds of my life. So. Hey, oh, wait, yeah. oh, well, I don't know if I can do it for ninety. We'll, we'll figure it out sure you can come on you should i cut it down to 60 i feel kind of bad now because that would be no fuck it fresco did it y'all could do it uh 90 yeah. seconds you're i'm gonna call you j man i hope that's okay j man i <laughs> i need you to make the case oh, why boy. all other holidays need their very own mistletoe 
Oh, Why all okay. other holidays need their very own mistletoe? All other uh, uh, December holidays. I'm sorry, I may have forgot that part. All the December holidays need their their own mistletoe out of a fucking ladybug. And your timer starting now. Is is it bad? I only know one other December <laughs> holiday. Right. We'll do all holidays then. Jewish, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All holidays. All holidays. I, I'm so sorry, but uh, wait. Just skipping the Kwanzaa. Yeah, I was gonna say Kwanzaa's there too, right? Kwanzaa, so, Hanukkah. It, okay. There's gotta be another yeah, one. Yeah, Hanukkah. New Year's technically. Independence Day. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Why everyone? Yeah, everyone. Uh, so in December we celebrate mistletoe. We do not celebrate holidays. All right. There so who are. doesn't want to curl up with their loved ones, no matter what the religious thinking is? You can just curl up, get under some nice, deadly mistletoe, don't eat it, and have yourself a little nice smooch. Now, where you want to put that mistletoe, that's up to you and your significant other. Now, we have the oh, eight crazy don't. nights. You could do it eight crazy nights. That's, that's, so, that's not bad. <laughs> You said significant other. I gotta ask you. I asked for us to go a question. How would you deal with the Me Too thing? I would say mistletoe is for everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, regardless of what they think, it's all encompassing. I mean, everybody can celebrate this beautiful twig and little red berry looking thing. <laughs> And and if you the don't like that, consent. if you don't you get yeah, one more, you, if you get one more, your timer's up. Get one more phrase. If, if you don't like that, you can make it a T, and we'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> you get busy kissing, or you get busy dying. Oh my god! I would say it's Cosby like. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That, that, oh, was oh, right, in, that was proven in court. It was proven in court. Yeah, I was gonna say it could have been worse. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not hearsay or nothing. Oh, fantastic! Thank you. Um, now to take it back to sides. <laughs> back to side splitters. Oh boy. With Andy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Andy, with the cost of coal going up and how mining for it could be bad for the environment. I need you to make the case for a new item to give coals that have been, or to give kids that have been naughty this year. Oh, uh, that is, that is easy. 100%. So, uh, people are trying to go oh, green timer starting and, uh, and I, I don't think, uh, oh yeah, no, just run that timer. I got this shit. All right. I've been thinking about this for a while now. Confidence. I didn't need you to ask the question. <laughs> That's uh, right. So uh, I think that uh, the obvious solution here is that all bad kids should be given reindeer shit in their stocking uh, <laughs> as, as they've been bad. Because honestly, Santa has an abundance of it, and all he needs is one little catcher underneath the, the eight or nine reindeer, depending on, you know, if you believe in red noses. Uh, and then all that collectively just goes in the stocking. And it's one of those things where the entire house knows if you've been bad at that point, just because of all that permeation in the air just getting all up in your nostrils and ruining your holiday fun and uh be honest with me if you were giving out sh little, like you know shitlands to the chitlins uh that wouldn't put a <laughs> smile on your face like that oh, would be on. an amazing thing for for santa to do uh, and besides, oh! like, it's gonna be in the households that don't leave him cookies or vegan snacks anyway so who cares <laughs> like what's he gonna do oh they're not gonna write him a letter next year well fine then he doesn't have to worry about one more stop there you go perfect present for the chitlins get rid of the coal bring in the shit and yeah, it gets to uh them, did both of them say chitlins <laughs> yes <laughs> is that some kind of <laughs> regional thing or i think it's more of a them kind of thing you know what i mean like <laughs> there's nobody else around here saying thing down here Oh yeah, they're they're the same thing that they are down there up here. It's just not in their household. <laughs> we Maybe were they dress them up like dolls or something. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> that is exactly what that. We're just trying to identify with y'all. Let's go. Everyone here energy, knows man. you, motherfucker. You say chitlins all the goddamn time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the beginning of this stream, you were just like, "It's full of chitlins." 
<laughs> but we were talking about the charity. So nice try. Uh, real quick, I do have a question for you, Andy. Yeah. Uh, how does Santa accumulate enough shit for the naughty kids? Is he just supposed to save it? Are certain naughty kids getting colified shit bricks and others fresh? Oh no! It's uh, all, all them, all them, uh, all them kids that leave him his uh, his uh, vegan snacks. Uh, he feeds those to the reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So he doesn't have to worry about his digestive issues. Yeah, nor he the reindeer. Is brilliant. That. Absolutely no, brilliant. And he keeps it green. <laughs> keeps it green. That's the that's the buzzword these days. Oh man, I still that like shit, been... shitlands for my shitlands. <laughs> shitlands for shitlands is pretty good. Look at that, look at that for the shitlands <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> Lazy. Okay, so we have one more to go. And that is, uh, what did I call you, Silent Mace? <laughs> I should have put name tags up for you guys. Fuck, I suck. <laughs> All right, so I need you to make the case for more diversity in the North Pole and not just the hiring of only elves and reindeer in Santa's workshop. Oh, this is good. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not do that. <laughs> wait, wait, that's an option? I could have just said no? <laughs> I mean, if you want zero points, we can easily forego it. <laughs> Although I gotta say, his energy was pretty on par there. Oh yeah, that's no, <laughs> a firm no. Oh god! All right, ninety seconds starting now. Diversity in Santa's workshop. There should be diversity in the in Santa's workshop. You know, who said all elves are white? You know, it could be any color or size. Not ever. I mean, we've seen Ooh. elf, haven't you? Elf is. You know, what makes you think I was referring was, to the color of their skin and not the, the I mean, elves, humans, dark elves, night elves. Yeah, I'm good with all that. I don't care who's bringing me my toys, just bring them. That's a lot of elves there. What about gnomes? Right, but I need you to make the case for why there, why there, there needs to be a movement to make that happen. I guess I didn't quite word it correctly. Uh, yeah, I need you to... to I don't know what the fuck I need you to do. You kind of just fucking threw me for a loop there. Yeah, I'm good with that. That's fine. Are you the one stopping this from happening? Carnage? He, he was not, I don't see him be calling for it not to happen. He was I'm about going. to say, that's what it sounds like to me. It's like, you know, keep the North Pole white. Like, what? What is you going on here? For what it to be. Shit's gone south already, boys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Well, fuck it. You know, this is your score that you're jeopardizing here. Shit. <laughs> I don't need to play this game. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not playing this game. Oh. <laughs> We're being scored and my partner is literally called silent. That's fair. I mean, Jugs does make a good point. Uh, dwarves and hobbits show up, could lead all the rings in one place. That's a terrible point. Never mind. <laughs> Stupid Lord of the Rings yeah. references. Wow, is that all? okay? Well, the timer's up. <laughs> Restart the time. No, Restart the time. he fucked that up. I don't know. I it's, think they, it I think like hire you, some skeletons. Yeah. I mean, you know, we they're they're fresh out of Halloween. Uh, they don't need to eat, sleep, uh, stop work at all, and, and like you know, the whole North Pole operation is three sixty seven. <laughs> so. I think I kind of needed you to make the case for what else should be in, in their place, but yeah, there you go. What else should be in their place to salvage a point? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. In place of what? What should be working in Santa's workshop? Not you, Santa's Andy. This wasn't your make the case. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm just this I'm, motherfucker I'm wants more points. <laughs> Let, no, we, I'm watching the entire what, what do you think, Andy? Yeah, he's giving us our points. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> team player doesn't even matter the team so yeah i i was i was wondering if you were to replace the elves you know not replace them but like how far does that extension go what else can we use instead of reindeer what else uh can we use instead of humans for that matter everything <laughs> and that is what we're getting from <laughs> team <Geek> now tonight <laughs> 
You beautiful. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, beautiful. Yeah, that say, was well done. <clears throat> I would say he made a larger than life spiders to build the toys because they have eight legs, right? So let's use those, put hands on them, and we'll go from there. That's not. And they can wrap works. the presents. They can. They it's can wrap the Santa. presents. Santa. It's of course it's how it works. It's well, got a point. Gonna, put, are you are you a magical gatekeeper now? It's Santa no, Claus. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying you can't do something with legs and be like, well, these are hands now. Like that's not how that works. Have you ever <laughs> seen a kid's drawing? Of course that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a moment. <laughs> I like the strippers idea. I just saw that pop up in chat. Let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. wants so, us to use strippers. All your toys com come covered in oil, so. <laughs> <laughs> and hand sanitizer and alcohol and, you know, lots and lots of rubber like alcohol. like cucumber melon. And the dolls already <laughs> have baby powder on them. Okay, so to score the round, uh, we have Fresco, who had a one, he got a point for focus, got a point for energy. Clarity kind of fell off towards the end there, though. You kind of you. petered out a little bit. Hey, you could fuck me all you want, buddy, but you know, I it will. is what it is. I will. <laughs> uh, hire some me Uh, Andy. I mean, as if it, he, he never skipped a beat. He got a, he got, he checked all the boxes. You got all three, man. That was fantastic. I was well convinced for how to turn green for Christmas this year. Applaud. Uh, J man. <laughs> Do you guys have a problem with me using your names? Otherwise, I feel like this is going to get really weird really quick. No, I don't care. All right. I, I, I never asked. I'm, out of this. I'm just going with Andy. I wasn't sure if yeah, and you guys got your podcast and all of that. Oh, speaking of, uh, if we may real quick, can we can we kind of promote what you guys do here a little bit? You guys got a podcast currently. You do, right? Uh, Yeah, we do it. I think it's kind of petered down to monthly. Uh, we have a podcast called Verbal Chaos where we do stuff kind of like this. We just shoot the shit, basically. We just talk about whatever we want to now. In the past, when we were counting down to Geek Town, we would cover movies, cover news, you know, stuff like that. But we, we kind of just like talking. We don't get to hang out as much as we used to. So we use that time to catch up. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Basically, it's uh, like the Sein Seinfeld approach to things. It's a yeah. podcast about nothing. So Blaze wants to know, uh, what's your social security number? Two, four, <laughs> seven, eight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. So anyway, six. Foreigner, I knew it. <laughs> it's just six. Nothing after that. I'm really old. Uh, right. Jesse, for your score, I gave you a one for focus. And I gave you a one for clarity, because, I mean, you were pretty uh, clear that, you know, you just wanted everyone right. to have a mistletoe and, yeah, you know, I mean, the energy was a little low. Energy was a little low. So I'll give I you a point there. I just worked all day. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Look, we all got jobs here, dog. We all got jobs. <laughs> I, I was in charge. I was first in, first out. It sucked. Is it better than taste buds? Come on. Yeah. Taste buds. Need, nothing's better than taste buds. I mean, it's still going, so yeah, that inherently makes it. Fuck better. you, Fresco. Fuck. <laughs> 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 and the last, we have Eric with his beautiful delivery. Uh, I gave you a point for energy because that no again just came through. <laughs> Ironic. Woo, wow. That was that was awesome. I gave you a point for that. <laughs> so to keep track of everything clarity we got off. it's got to be a point for clarity i mean i can't be clearer than no <laughs> yeah you really can't <laughs> i mean i can't give you points for something you didn't answer <laughs> it wasn't a no as an i'm clear on what the case is it was a no as on i'm not making the case <laughs> that's pretty just the flaws. opposite of clarity <laughs> carnage i would like to remind you that no is an answer Right, that's why he got a point for energy, because it was a very enthusiastic no, but not the answer we were looking for, unfortunately. <laughs> so, and since we are, uh, I'll give you guys a point total one time. Right now, Side Splitters is in the league with five points to Geek Town's three. So, it is currently five to three, and that's the last time I think I might, I might give you one more score update down the road. We don't know. We want to see. That's, that's not too bad. I thought it'd be worse with nah, silent, so bad. silent Mace there. <laughs> silent Mace. By the way, can I just... I haven't commented on this yet, man. I gotta say, that is a very sharp hat you are wearing, good sir. 
I love the Wu-Tang. <laughs> the Wu-Tang, tell him Steve Dave. Oh, the, oh I mean, Fresco's hat's dope too, but I, I was... <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see who you're talking about. I wasn't sure. <laughs> no, no, hey, I was, I was hey, talking about Fresco. Listen, listen, my daughter was chastised and people thought she had the AIDS because she wasn't wearing her festive hat. So I came prepared today <laughs> with my festive hat. Another callback. Fantastic. Uh, that was a radio play that we did a long time ago where Fresco's very own daughter, Angel is the Devil, which, uh, what was she like? Seven? Eight? Yeah, she, she was very, very young. Oh my God. She had such a sweet, innocent voice, a perfect voice for a, a small child to play a role in the radio play. It, it was very nice. We did a Christmas radio play. Is that the um, one you put after the, our episode? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so that was a good time. But yeah, memories indeed. Memories. And 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 one of the scenes in the uh, the radio play was about people wearing their festive hats, which is why Fresco shows up with a Fresco, uh, you know, festive hat, but no one else did. That's all right, though. That's all right, though. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I know it was there. I just didn't listen to it. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh neither did anyone else so don't feel bad all right <laughs> so on to the next game no is astounding <laughs> <laughs> so uh to be a little bit more clear cut with the clarity and answers and everything this time around the next game we're gonna play is i guess we can kind of call it jeopardy i'm just gonna kind of trivia questions just christmas trivia and the trivia topic is going to be uh, top selling gifts from previous years. Okay. I thought you were going to say holidays. I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> nah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, top selling gifts from previous years. Um, I don't really have a, 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 a thing for you guys to pick. So we're just going to we're just going to make everything a point apiece. Every question counts as a point. Nice and simple. Uh, and there's no particular order that I want to do this in, but I think I'll just go, what is that, counterclockwise to make things simple? So being that side splitters is in the lead, we'll start with them. And uh, being that Andy is at the top of that, we'll start Andy, we'll go Fresco, and then we'll go Jesse, then we'll go Eric. And it's like a back around. Front running. Yeah. That's what this is. Oh, don't worry, the first questions are always the hardest. Okay, Andy. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, for the first question. And this is Jeopardy, in a sense. So make sure you answer in the form of a question. Mm -hmm. Here's your answer. Okay. This furry red gift vibrates when disturbed the right way and yeah. is known to have break jaws. Uh, what the hell is that there? Tickle me Elmo. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tickle me Elmo is correct. One point for side splitters. <laughs> all right fresco you're up next you ready buddy yep this is such a fresco question it, i swear to god this is not collusion this is in order i promise <laughs> i don't know what are chitlins <laughs> <laughs> it might as well be yuletide <laughs> trivia i love it lh barely jeopardy uh okay fresco this 1996 film had action figures made up for Charles Barkley and Larry Johnson. Space Jam? That is correct. What is Space Jam? One more point for Team Side Splitters. <laughs> what coincidence? I mean, I guess any of you guys getting a movie question would have been kind of fair. But anyway. Yeah, they're, up, uh, they're up there for us. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, see, just of the five of us, Fresco's the only one with a movie podcast currently, so. <laughs> Regardless of what any of us have done in the past. Uh, okay, so next is Jesse. Your question, or statement, answer, however you want to say this. These three letters made bicycles a popular Christmas gift in 1982. Is it, what is BMX? Correct. What is B? Jesus Christ, is this easier than I thought it was? <laughs> No, we're just old. I guess so. I want to say, like, I, I tested these out with a couple of people, and a lot of people were just like, I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm like, man, this, this is going to be good. Motherfuckers are killing these right now. And there's other reasons to go to a homeless <clears throat> shelter. You know, you could have just helped. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I asked them to my wife, you dickhead. <laughs> hey there, old man covered in shit. What three letters if it makes a bicycle worth a, worth a damn? <laughs> I don't know. I'm dying of dysentery. <laughs> Oh fuck! All that's right. right, you got it right, sir. That's that's BMX bowel movement explosions. Yeah. Are you Santa, <laughs> sir? Is that Santa? You Do you want to be Santa? I'm field? doing this stream, and I think if I dress you up just right, <laughs> I think Santa needs some fiber. Where's that? I don't think he with? answered as a question. He did answer as a question. He said, "What is BMX?" Yeah, yeah I did. Okay, uh, so let's finish out the run of questions, Eric. Thanks to the Xmas movie Home Alone, this 1993 top selling toy became all anyone could talk about after Christmas. Was it Talk Boy? That is correct. Jesus Christ. We said Home Alone, and that was Home Alone 2. That's what threw me off. Oh, <laughs> double points. Oh, you got me. You got me. I, I totally had that written here and just forgot to say it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, sir, the soup carnage. Okay. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. Yeah. So how do I want to do this? Um, I know we'll, we'll roll oh. a fucking, we'll roll a die. Okay. We're going to roll a four sided die and, uh, starting with Andy, you'll be one. Fresco two, uh, Jesse three, Eric four. Whoever it lands on is going to get the lightning round question for one additional point. I'm a day, I'm a day. It is. Oh fuck! I fucked it up. All right, hold on. How do you fuck up? A it's a two. It's a two. It was an, it was a it was a virtual die. So <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead of rolling it, I just added an extra one because I'm a big dim bitch. Um. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> Amadeus, what up? So, number two would be Fresco. Fresco, your lightning round question. Are you ready, sir? Bring it on, bitch. Okay. Hey, man, the 70s were a time of peace, love, and weird ideas for pets, like this 1975 top selling Xmas gift. What is a chia pet? Ooh, sorry, it is a pet rock. What is a pet rock? Ooh. That was a good guess, though. That was a good. Yeah, that was a great guess. Okay. Wow. Oh, thank God they got one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh man, that's nice. So does he um, lose points? Does he lose points? Like he that? doesn't lose points. Lose points? He what? doesn't. This is not Japanese. Fuck you! It ain't Christmas to take points away. It would have been. He would lose points, but that's the lightning round question. You, you see, those you lose them. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that. I like that idea. Fuck you it. <laughs> you know how these y'all yeah. know how this show goes. Come on. Y'all know how this show goes. They lost the point. Fuck it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. I'll buy you a pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else hear Forrest Gump there? <laughs> like the nice Alabama. I'll buy you a pet rock. <laughs> Great Greenbow, Alabama. No. Oh, she God. Cigarettes. I miss you guys. Fuck, it's been too long. All right. So, uh, man, you guys got all the fucking questions right, except the lightning round. So on to the next round. We'll start at the top with Andy again. Andy, ah. are you ready? <laughs> Mars bar. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> oh, the callbacks are real. Okay, Andy. Ah. Long before their nemesis would get their feature title, this video game character was all the rage as an Xmas gift in 1981. Wait, hold on. Say that one again? Sure, I'll repeat it one more time. Long before yeah. their nemesis would get their feature title, this video game character was all the rage as an Xmas gift in 1981. 1981. Was it Donkey Kong? Oh. It is, but I'm afraid that was not in the form of the question we were looking for, so I can't give you the point for that correct answer. That was a question. I literally Sorry. asked, was it Donkey Kong? <laughs> yeah, but that's 
That's not the same question I needed from you. I needed what Stop is Donkey Kong. Right. You said this I had to in the form of a question, so I did. It sounded like a literal question. He said, oh. what is Donkey Kong? He just well, asked he didn't. your question. <laughs> he said, was it Donkey Kong? That's the wrong yeah. question for this answer. Yeah, no, that, that is a question you said. <laughs> answer in the form of a question, and I did. But wait, that sounds like another point lost. It is another point lost, correct. <laughs> no matter how much he wants to argue. I, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> look, sorry. Look at the face. Yeah, look at the face. Screen, look at the face. I already gave I already <laughs> took the point away. It's all good. I'm going to fucking punch my screen. <laughs> Come on. Have you oh, guys I'm never gonna, seen gonna, an episode of Jeopardy? This laptop. This isn't you this know. Is a lab This is a Jeopardy, though. This is Trivial Pursuit or whatever that, whatever that, that suggestion was. <laughs> Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to make some shit up as we go. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, have you, motherfucker, you guys have all been on a side splitter stream or a, a, at least a side splitter show with me before. <laughs> you guys know how we do things here. Shit. You know, quick, stroke his ego. If you stroke his ego, what we'll was, start getting points back. What was it Blaze said earlier? Welcome to a carnage stream where the rules don't matter and needed are the points or some shit like that. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. about accurate. <laughs> oh, okay. Goodness. Let's not uh, hold things up any further here. We have Fresco up next. And Fresco, yeah. your question. Excuse me. Your answer. <laughs> See, they got me fucking up. Uh, I can't play your new Nintendo 64. I'm too busy cleaning up digital doo-doo with this 1997 Xmas top seller. Ooh. <laughs> Move the steel. I'll take this. What? No. Fuck off, man. <laughs> There's, no There's no stealing. There's no stealing. I can repeat I'm it again if you need I'm me just to. I'm putting pressure repeat on you, that. buddy. I'm I'll repeat, repeat it one more that. time. Uh, I can't play your new Nintendo 64. I'm too busy cleaning up digital doo doo with this 1997 Xmas top seller. Is it Donkey Kong? Oh, what is the Tamagotchi pet? <laughs> what is the Tamagotchi? That is correct. All right. Good deal. One point for side splitters. Fantastic. Um. Okay, on to Team Geek Town with Jesse. I won't, I won't your, get it, watch. <laughs> your answer. This 2004 cell phone is trying to slice its way back into relevancy, relevancy today, though the price is a bit sad higher now. What is a Motorola Razor? That is correct. Point for Team Geek Town. Very nice. I, I just want to point out, my questions are fantastic and just... That's all. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's that, there's that ego stroke. Man, I mean, come on, is. these are good. He, he's you do it anymore. We're not going to be able to see you through all the white shit on the camera. <laughs> I mean, none of my answers are just the first thing that shows up in a multiple choice. You know, there's there's actually stuff that's developed and and nice. Qu Never mind. <laughs> that's a that's a callback to DMG stuff. Fresco gets it. Anyway, yeah, I do get it. All right, last question of the round goes to Eric. Well, answer, I guess. I keep saying question. This 2008 DVD was very at the top of everyone's Christmas list and was also the birth of the MCU. What is Iron Man? That is correct. What is Iron Man? Another point for Team Geek Town. Now, hold now, on a second. I would argue that the proper question should have been who is Iron Man? No, because it was a DVD. It's not a thing or a person. Nice try, Andy. <laughs> I'm like, look, I'm. I, I, it's I, Andy. I'm trying to lose a point for questioning you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! It's Christmas. We gotta be this petty, Andy. It, it's Fucking called Nickel and Diamond. That's what it's called. Mm, Nickel look. and Diamond. All right. Well, man. we are going to roll. Oh, we got a four this time for the lightning round. A four would mean one, two, three. Eric. It's the last lightning round and last answer of Jeopardy or whatever this is called. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, for the last point to be obtained from this round, both 2017 and 1992 had the initials of this video game system at the top of their Xmas wish lists. What were the years again? I'll just repeat the whole thing. Both 2017 and 1992 had the initials of this video game system at the top of their Xmas wish list. 
Hmm. I'm just guess, what is NES? I don't I don't know. Ooh, it is actually what is the Super Nintendo? And I actually wouldn't have given you the points if you would have used yeah. the initials SNES, because I specifically wanted the video game system's name, not the initials. Oh, I thought you but, said the initials. No, I said had the initials of this video game oh. system. Yeah, it was uh, it was specifically worded weird for a lightning round spectacular and man what a spectacular that was okay one two three three points added to side splitter score and one two three four points added to team geek town score closing that gap baby which if you take away the points for the wrong answers and all that fun stuff Team Geek Town only got one wrong answer, which means they only brings their score down one. And now we have a tie game. It is six to six. If you carry the five. (laughs) (laughs) I know it was way convoluted, way more than it needed to be. Uh, I said, yes, thank you, Jugs. I was waiting for it anyway. (laughs) (laughs) That is a reference to Fresco stream. We got references everywhere. Okay. Now, they out here. Uh, oh, absolutely. I, have I told you guys about DMG? By the way, Team Geek Town, Andy, perhaps. Maybe you guys what would like to DMG? hear. Thank you, Eric. That's that's a very good question. DMG stands for Dark Mode Gaming. Dark Mode Gaming is the community I'm a part of, and this wonderful fucking stream that we're actually using right now uh dark mode gaming is just a dope community full of content creators and consumers alike and we have this thing called being out cheer and basically it's just everyone in the chat right now is out here right they're out here for this stream they're, they're they're just out here supporting you know what i mean out here so hence the i don't know if you guys can see it the we out here on the fucking hat there oh yeah we got we got a nice production here <laughs> we moved up in the ranks boys uh but yeah so we have this dope discord community that you know i'd love to have you guys join be a part of uh if i do understand the j man jesse that's your new name for me man i fucking love that have you ever seen the movie envy oh yeah maybe a long time ago it has ben stiller jack black and christopher walken christopher walken's character was called the j man I'm not and doing that impression. <laughs> not yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Call me LH in the chat is a fantastic voice actor, and they actually Christopher Walken doesn't exist anymore. They are Christopher Walken for the wow. moment. I mean, they are incredible with their with their uh, impersonation. It's fucking fantastic. Anyway, um, so I do Shut have a couple more games. Uh, uh, one being high low, and I think that's the one we're gonna go with next because the one we're gonna save for last, the fucking end all be all doozy of it all, is going to be called Who Cares Whose Line It Is Anyway. And what's going to be taking place there is I'm going to give you guys uh, a chance to pick a number, and that number is going to be a corresponding character that you're going to have to impersonate for. Oh. <laughs> for a scene from a random movie that I'm going to give you. I just want to point this out. Blaze is right. Don't don't let Carnage tell you about movies. <laughs> did, I, did I tell him about movies? What did I say about movies? Have I forgotten already? Yeah. Yes, you, as usual. Alright, anyway, that's, that's coming up later on. First, we're going to do uh, a very simple Christmas version of, of a high-low kind of game. The concept is very simple here. I'm going to give you guys a fact, and there's going to be a number associated with that fact. And you guys have to tell me if it's higher or lower than that number to make the statement true. Simple enough? Wait, does it have to yep. be the form of a question? No. Oh. <laughs> it couldn't get easier with this one. Okay. All right, just make sure. pay attention to the story. We out here. What's up, Angel is the Devil? Hell yeah. Um, okay, so since Side Splitters went first last time, and you guys are tied, we'll let uh we'll let Team Geek Town go first this time. And we'll do clockwise. We'll start with Eric and go our way up. So, Eric, your first high-low question statement, whatever we're calling this. 
100,000, no, I'm sorry, 10,000, can't read my own writing, 10,000 emergency room visits each November and December from holiday related decorating accidents. Is that number higher or lower? 10,000 emergency room visits. Than the world or US or what? I'm going to guess US. Good question. <laughs> That's a good sign. That's, That's a, a really fantastic. Sign. You're going to answer in the form of question? I'm going <laughs> to. I just need a higher or lower dog. That's it. <laughs> I'm a guess. I'm a guess higher. Higher. In fact, the Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates that 14,700 people visit em emergency rooms each November okay. and December from holiday related decorating accidents. So yes, it is higher. One point for Team Geek Town. Very nice. And y'all can't stay off your roofs. They're just lights. You're, you live inside the house. You're never going to see them. Uh, how many of those do you think come from the South? Do you think there's a, a bigger portion in the South okay. than there is in the North? Nope. nope. Oh, no. I'll, I'll fight that. I'll fight that. Well, they For those that don't know. Stand back, they probably just stand back with a shotgun and shoot them at the, at the house. <laughs> okay. I mean, For those I, that don't know. Imagine... Let me, let me just explain for a second here. It is very much tradition in side splitters fashion to kind of have a bit of a civil war here. Uh, Andy, myself and Fresco being from the north, clearly geek town being from the south. We kind of always come at each other with the with the fucking uh, north and south bits. So it's all love. But, we have you know, we have a good time with check it because of the times and all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, moving forward. <laughs> Where are we at here? Oh, right. Question number two, right? So, Jesse, here we are. Yep. There are at least 500 dried out Christmas tree fires in the United States a year. Way higher. Uh, I, Way I, higher. Yep. yep. So that's just in the South. hundred <laughs> percent. County. I have a video on my YouTube of me burning one. I, I guarantee you it's the South. <clears throat> Neglected dried out Christmas trees spark about 100 fires in the United what? States each year, this cause about 10 bad. deaths and result in about 15.7 million property or million dollars in property damage. Uh, at the Consumer Product Safety Commission reports. So I you're, all you're those, right. Uh, it's injuries were because of the fire. Yeah, that's what it <laughs> it's pretty devastational, but it's only 100 fires that it starts. Ah. So it's actually lower. Wow. No points removed though just you don't get a point that's it i want to recount to up that recount word, i need a recount why don't they lose a point they because this ain't one? jeopardy anymore <laughs> fresco that's why that's dog right <laughs> this is some bullshit oh don't worry when you get this one wrong i won't take one from you neither so <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh okay fresco between thanksgiving and new year's day the u.s postal service delivered an estimated 500 million packages in 2019 higher or lower it's higher between thanksgiving and new year's day the u.s postal service delivered an estimated 910 million packages in 2019 in addition to almost 15 billion pieces of mail uh, so yeah, it is indeed higher. That is one point for team side splitters. Fuck you. I didn't get it wrong. And all those packages hey. went to my wife. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one of them. <laughs> Every single one of them. You got packages for days, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, so next would be Andy. Oh, fuck. I forgot to turn that shit off. God damn it. It's Christmas, y'all. Come on. Oh, is your bot active? Yes. Fuck, I got it. Oh, folks. Oh, shit. Get him. No, don't get me. This it's is not the how the show. No. It's for the kids. It's for the chitlins. Fuck the chitlins. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, shit, that was for LH and Eric. <laughs> Bear with me, y'all. These fuckers are, you know, you just, you, you can't, you can't just let this shit happen. You know what I mean? You don't, but that's all right. It's okay. <laughs> I don't Basically what I'm trying to say. So what, <laughs> what's happening is, uh, there is a way you can scare the shit out of me with money on my stream. And because I didn't turn it off, <laughs> they're 
fucking with me right now? <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, you know, hey, this is DMG, let him, dog. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him get you some money for these people. What it would yeah, be for hey, me? <laughs> what? No, stop it. Don't give me that. It's for the chitlins. <laughs> Actually, that's a great idea. What if we just... No, fuck that. <laughs> Hold He's on. like, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> no, I, I don't want the money. To, no, I don't want the money at all. I want it to only go to the kids. If you're going to spend money, fuck it. If you're going to spend money, spend it to the kids. I don't want to fucking. Uh, Jesus, God damn it, they're not doing it. Uh, all right, fuck yeah. it. I gotta turn it off. God damn it, please. <laughs> and just like that, money derails the show. Oh fuck. <laughs> no, B Dubs, I don't have don't do drugs on there. Unfortunately. What is it, an extension? Is that what the fuck this thing is? Fresco, what is this thing? What? That's a it. Never mind, computer. I found it. Yeah, that's a computer. Extensions uh, uninstall. Would be wasted on you. Uninstall. You would never take off your hat. There. Uh, I, I got it, I think. Alright. You sure? We're good. We're good. Alright, sure moving on. Nothing. Okay. I'm not, but... We'll see, right? Um... So Fresco went last, got it right. Uh -huh. <laughs> now that we're done with that, uh -huh. it wouldn't be a carnage stream if we didn't derail it with fucking nonsense, right? Okay, Andy. Uh huh. <laughs> At least the chat loves it. Seventy-five percent of Americans celebrate Christmas, higher or lower? I'd say lower. At least nine out of 10 Americans celebrate, making it at least 90. I think it's actually like 92 or 93%. But yeah, Wait. it is in fact higher. Hold on a second. Hold Here we on go. a second. Here we go. No, because here's the thing. <laughs> like, people are double dipping on the holidays, and I am not, I am not about that. Like, 100% they are. I, my back is mm -hmm. killing me from carrying this team. Oh, I, I believe that. I believe that. So here's the thing, Andy. I actually, if if you if you may, uh, I have a bonus question. Ooh. I know y'all thought the bonus questions were done already, but hold your argument just yet. Were, all right, they were just done for Jeopardy. This is a whole new game. Four sided die rolls a one. Look at that. It's Andy again. Andy. Uh, oh, this is funny, yeah. actually. Okay. <laughs> Follow-up question yourself. for the bonus round. Answer to redeem yourself. Here we go. 40% uh, mm -hmm. of people who celebrate Christmas attend church as part of the holiday. Higher or lower? Oh, he's thinking. What's if you fuck this up, I'm driving like, to your house. and hey, you. He's like, right, what's right? church? What's church? Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Some jokes are just for us, huh, Andy? <laughs> lower. I'm going to go lower. If church attendance on Christmas Eve has felt less busy lately than when you were a kid, you may not be misremembering. The Pew Research Center found that fewer people think of Christmas as a religious holiday these days, and only 51% of people who celebrate attend church as part of their festivities. So it's higher, but it's still, you know, depressing towards religious folk uh, okay sorry bud and no word on what portion of those also uh only go on christmas and easter uh you know there's people that would only go to church on said holidays there's there's no percentage of that being but yeah it was higher so you in fact got two questions wrong back to back i mean let's go like, i'll ask know, again um did, did you want me to take points away when you guys got questions wrong <laughs> I didn't want to like really fuck with your game here, you know. <laughs> Let's go. Go ahead, do it because you keep giving them the bonuses. Hey man, I I go by what the dice tells I me. Because okay? you know that's fucking helping us. The bonuses <laughs> yeah, it's not are like really you're getting it right. <laughs> the only one I got a bonus right, I think, was you guys. No, you guys, no bonus questions have been answered correctly yet. Collusion. Have a damn. Collusion. There it is. <laughs> Pew Research Center. That's what it says, LH. All right. That, that was in my notes. I have notes. Who says I don't? Okay. Next one. Uh, we'll restart the round. We'll just go right back to Eric uh, in the beginning again. Pew, pew, pew. And the 
Okay, here we go. Consumers spend an average of about $1,500 on gifts each year for the holidays, higher or lower. Each? Each year, $1,500 on gifts. No, 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 no. Just a total. Uh, uh, consumers spend an average of about $1,500 per person. Is that what you're saying? Like them spending? Yeah, per person. Yeah, each person is spending $1,500 uh, on average. So we're including the millionaires. We're including. I'm going to say lower. According to the National Retail Federation's most recent data, consumers spend an average of $967.13 on the holidays. Correct? So I'm not cheap. Not, it yeah. is lower. 13 cents? <laughs> Oh, stay man. off stay off my grass is out here with five dollars for a donation i appreciate stay you stay off man. my grass <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay off my grass i love it uh the five dollars yeah. donation hey, for those that i mean i don't know that's that's just what <laughs> they call themselves uh th that goes towards child's play the charity that we are running this event for um we'll make sure those you can get plenty of grass you can type exclamation point donate to get a link to the donate if you're feeling giving today, or you can just take a picture of the QR code right underneath of me and it'll take you right to the donation link. So thank you again. Stay off my grass for the $5. Uh, we're fucking, we're killing it right now. That's all I'm going to say. DMG is fucking out here. I love this community. You guys got so much goddamn money going into this. Okay. Next one. Uh, let's see. That was Geek Town, and next is oh wait, we still have to do one more for the J Man. Okay, according to the national no, that's that's the last thing. Sorry. Okay, here we go. The Rockefeller Center Christmas tree has about one hundred thousand multicolored LED lights on it. Higher or lower? Higher. Once at Rockefeller Center. The tree is supported by four guy wires attached at its midpoint and by a steel spike at its base. Scaffolding is erected around the tree to assist workers in hanging about 50,000 multicolored LED lights and the star top. So it is, in fact, lower. Wow. Uh, but some, some people around here have more than that on their houses. <laughs> well, that's that's what causes all the fires and no. <laughs> whatever else the other ones were that I said earlier. <laughs> See, us, well, the Southern people know how to use a ladder and a yeah, shotgun they, because they, they're, they're tradesmen. <laughs> they have to. <laughs> that's why they babies run around with no clothes. Cause they spent all the money on the Christmas tree lights and the electricity bill. Chitlins for the chitlins, man. The chitlins. <laughs> the chitlins are shooting the chitlins right out the back because they got nothing to get in the way. You know what I mean? It saves on toilet paper. It saves on water. It saves on everything. It's hot in the South, okay? I was going to say, hot. it's always hot as hell down there. You ain't got to wear no fucking clothes. <laughs> okay. Follow-up question for Fresco. The star on top of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree weighs about 125 pounds, higher or lower. If it's, if we can go based off of your hat and how much that star <laughs> yeah, is fucking it's, dipping. It's leaning, it's leaning, buddy. <laughs> That's a heavy ass topper. No, 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 My sides are pushed in. I got to fluff my tree. All right. Let me fluff my tree. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Fluff my tree. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Well, I already gave you the question. I said lower, bitch. Oh, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you either. Yeah. Okay, where are we at here? I lost my spot. A new crystal star of Swavorsky crystal. Rich tops. <laughs> Holy shit. Minus one point from side splitters. Hashtag shitlins for the chitlins. Silent Mace is out here with $10. I appreciate you, dog. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 I love it. Hashtag nice. shitlands for the chitlands. Okay, multi multitask. That's beautiful. Uh, okay, so he says lower. A new crystal star. Oh, yeah, I already read that part. And it was created in 2018 and designed by the renowned architect Daniel. Oh, boy. Liebeskind? 
The new star features 70 spikes and 3 million crystals with LED lighting spots by the company Osnium, <laughs> who worked with the engineers. In total, it weighs about 90 pounds. It is, in fact, lower. Well done, Team Side Splitters. Once again, man, that back's got to be hurting. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Andy, there is no bonus round question here, so this is legit the last question for this round. Uh-huh. What do you got? What do you got? Silent Night is the most recorded Christmas song in Christmas or in history with 642 different versions copyrighted since 1978. Higher or lower? Am I saying higher or lower for the date? Oh my god. Why? See, this is why you get them all wrong, motherfucker. Because you focus too much on dumb shit. Alright? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The amount right, of copies. Well, 642 different versions. 642 different versions? I mean, there's more languages than that. I'm going to say higher. We all know the same few handfuls of Christmas songs play at the stores on the radio in a loop all season long, but one of them has been adapted more than others. Silent Night ears that title as the most recorded Christmas song in history. It's had more than 733 different versions copyrighted since 1978. Uh, it is in fact higher, and he gets his first points of the night <laughs> with this round. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's check the totals. All right, so this round, one, oh boy, two, two points for Geek Town, <laughs> and where are we at here? Yeah, one, poor showing. <laughs> two, three points for Side Splitters, and if you guys are keeping track, you'll know who's winning, but we're going to save that one. We're not going to save that one. Uh, we're going to leave that one be. Because the next one, the next one's a fun one. Now, the next one's going to take a little bit of setup. So while we're doing that, um, how the fuck are we going to do this? <laughs> Hold on, we're, 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 we're here. Uh, let's see there. My boy hosted like this is the first time seeing the house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hosting like it's first time. Never mind. <laughs> How the fuck can you guys? Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Do you? I do. Okay. Minus one point carnage. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> For what? What I do? <laughs> Not being prepared. Stalling. <laughs> Bueller. Okay. Uh, which one of you guys want to? I'll, I'll tell you this. Which one of you guys want to? Does anyone want to go first for this for this next segment between the two teams? What are we doing? Uh, the next segment is the impersonations the one. The the impersonation one. Oh no! I'm going to guess no, side splitters wants to go first on this one. I don't, I Geek Town looks like they're first. dreading it. Oh, you want Geek? Oh, I mean, you guys want to go I first or? I should let them go first. Why? Andy, do you <laughs> want to go first to, to kind of redeem your team here? Uh, I kind of do. I figured as much. <laughs> I kind of do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Give me. All right. All right. So if you're going first, that means Fresco is going first, too. It's not just one of you. This is a team effort. All right. Okay. Okay. So right now I am actually going to DM you guys the script. Bastard. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, fuck. Are you going to be all right, Fresco? I'll make it happen. Just do your thing. All right. Where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. I mean, I'm here. <laughs> Where the um, fuck would I be? And before we get to the script, there are numbers 1 through 11 available still. And since you guys are going first, you get your first picks. Andy, you really wanted to go first. I'll let you pick first. Number one through 11. Once he picks a number, that number is taken off the board. That voice is no longer allowed to be used. So not that you guys know what the fuck the voices are anyway. Andy, number one through 11. Which one do you pick first? Uh, with four. Four. And Fresco, for you, without four available? 
I didn't even see anything come in yet. I, it, it's not there yet. I didn't send it yet. Oh, uh, give me. <laughs> what a use. <laughs> what is one to 11? One through 11 without four. <clears throat> give me number nine. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, this one's going to be great. Andy. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, I can't tell you who yours is. I'm going to DM you uh, your, your, your character first. Okay. Fuck, I got that backwards. All right, well, you're getting, you're getting Fresco's character. <laughs> Otherwise, he would see yours already. So I can't do that. Oh, I, that's fine. I, didn't, I, I was going to say, I didn't click on it yet. No, nah, that's fine. All right. Not like you guys knew which one it was anyway. Yeah. I, I, I don't know which one. I'm just being was, honest. I, I didn't have to. I could have lied and said, yeah, this is totally the fucking order. Uh, this is yours, Andy. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh okay. okay. So the rules here are pretty simple. When you do not answer until the entire script is read. Okay. And when the script is done and you guys are done, you guys each have to guess who each other were playing. Obviously you can't guess your own name. And the movie that you guys are acting out, and you get a potential for three points per round. Okay. Oof. Okay. Here we go. Fresco, there's yours. Andy, there's yours. You guys both have the same script. Uh, I'll let you guys determine who wants to be number one and who wants to be number two in this scenario. Everyone's going to have a number one and number two. Okay, this might be a little difficult for me. Is it? I don't know. Uh, it's going to be pauseated at best. Uh, all right. Do you need oh. my eyes? Angel is the devil says. Well, that's not going to help. No. You. Yeah, no, it's not going to help. Uh, why don't you go with being number two since you have less lines or less like, you know what I mean? To say, like I said, it's going to be pauseated, so bear with us. Go ahead. Uh, well, I guess I go ahead. Yeah, it doesn't matter how it sounds. I mean, you, you guys make it sound however you want, as long as you two can figure out who is who and, and what movie it is. It doesn't matter how it sounds. Uh, I could, I, I, I could do number one. Uh, and I will start off, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mystery guest, are you still there? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> How the hell do I do this? Um I wouldn't think of leaving hands. What the fuck? Unless you want to open the front door. Afraid not. But you have me at a loss. You know my name. But who are you? Just another American who saw too many movies as a child. Another orphan of a bankrupt culture who thinks he's John Wayne, Rambo, Marshall Dillion. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> I forgot where I was. Actually... <laughs> I was always partial to Roy Rogers. I really dog those. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sinking shirts. Beautiful. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Oh man, that Mr. Cowboy line got me. <laughs> That's spelled wrong, by the way. That <clears throat> is how it is from the script. I don't know really? if he, yes, I don't know if the feds being actually, you know, kind of okay. concocted I something themselves, but yeah. All right, shush. Yippee, yay, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sorry. 
Oh, oh my goodness. I had seen. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you guys can't be much worse than that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I apologize right now. I don't think you're gonna guess who I was. Uh, that was okay. A yeah, thing. Uh, well, let let let's order this a little bit. Andy, can you tell me who Fresco was playing? Uh, I'm gonna say he was Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> yep, that is correct. Fresco, okay. can you tell me who Andy was playing? I want to say he was playing Miss Piggy. Oh, that's a great guess, Andy. You want to reveal who you were? Uh, I was actually Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. Really? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that, with that being said, uh, that's one point for you guys so far. How about a movie? Do you guys know what movie it is? Die Hard. I think the honors. It's Die Hard. It's absolutely Die Hard. <laughs> the Christmas movie, Die Hard. Exactly that. Uh, that's two <laughs> points. Two points for Team Side Splitters. Very nice, boys. Good job, very, good very job. nice. I couldn't ask for that <laughs> to go better. Uh, like, I, I don't know how the hell I could do bubbles in a more recognizable fashion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's... When, 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 when you said that to me, I, my eyes got wide. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And just kind of putting the final touches on yours. Team Geek Town. So we have four eliminated. We have nine eliminated. One through 11. We'll start with Eric. What, which one do you want first? No four, Two. no nine. Two. Okay. And let me send that to you real quick before oh, I lose it. it. Thank you, sweet Aries. <laughs> sweet Aries is actually my wife. Oh, my wife. <laughs> My bad. And uh, J Man, without two, four, and nine, eight to eleven, I guess. Oh, fantastic! Me and Ox were in the same. I boat. don't like that you said that. There you go. Oh okay. Okay. Are you guys ready for your seat? I, I don't honestly know if I know how this guy sounds anymore. <laughs> Come on, you'll be all right. <laughs> I fuck. Oh god. Well, I don't do voices. I don't even do my uh, voice. Who does? Here's the scene. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> all right. Whenever you guys are ready. Oh, Eric, I guess you have to determine who's first. Yeah. yeah, Eric, which one do you want to do? I'll just go first. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what better introduction to DMG than some fucking voice acting? <laughs> Should have had the professional on this show. There's, yeah, there's no way Eric's getting this. Uh, <clears throat> I've got to get a drink on. See you tomorrow. God. Um, That's actually not bad. <laughs> Just don't come into work stinking of booze again. Don't worry about me. Get going. You'll be late for your Wizard of Oz candy bar guild thing. <laughs> it's Swedish now. It's not supposed to be Swedish. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Oh shit! Hang on, I lost it. Lollipop Guild asshole. Damn, I'm I'm going Arnold. Jesus, two year olds flip flip me off better than you. Better than you. <laughs> what? Is that? What am I doing? Oh, you're doing fine. Oh, you're trying to so. say something to me. God, are you sounding like me? Um. Yes, I'm gonna stick my whole fist up your ass. <laughs> What the hell? Is that? <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> what? In fantastic, world? fantastic guess, job, yo! Is, can, oh, I, can, can I guess? Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, we'll start with you. Rick from Rick and Morty. Oh man, that's, no, that's kind of what I was putting on, though, huh? That, that honestly, that was my guess. And I would, I, I would burp. I would burp. Uh, Jesse, who would you say Eric, Eric was? 
Uh, I have no idea. He went through so many. At first, not even a guess. At, at first, I thought he was Jareth from uh, Labyrinth. Ooh, whoa! You have no idea how close you were, Eric. Why don't you tell us who you were playing? Fucking Ernie from Bert and Ernie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jugs guessed the permit. You guys both guessed puppet things. That's good. You know, that's that's close. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I thought it was Kermit the Frog. I really so did. did I. I uh, and Jesse, who are you attempting? <laughs> oh my God, Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Oh, a, sh a show I hadn't seen in like what twenty five, thirty years. I, I was I afraid of who was getting Ernie. that one. I thought I thought you said you were Bert from Bert and Ernie. That's why I was. Mm -mm, no, it was close though. And do you guys have a movie guess? Mm, no, I have no idea what that is. Uh, I mean, if I have to guess, I would guess. Uh, uh, Bad Santa, maybe. Bad yeah. Santa was in fact the movie. Yep, that's that's where I was going. I, I was don't like, recognize it, but just looking at the the, uh, the words. Yep. yep. <laughs> so you guys salvaged a point out of it. That's good. That's good. Fucking. Woo! That's some. That's some gaming right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Now for the next Christmas movie. Oh man, I'm, let's I'm get laughing, this. Though this is fun. Oh yeah, I'm so glad you guys are having a good time with this. No, this is great. It's for the chitlins, man. For the, the chitlins. chitlins. Things I do for the chitlins. The things we do. Okay. Uh, we went with Andy first last. <laughs> we went Andy first last time. Let's go Fresco first this time. One through eleven. We are missing eight, nine, four, and two. Give me eleven. Okay. Don't here give is I heard, your, I heard your voice. Don't yep. give me here is your 11. I was wondering who was going to get this one. Uh, Andy, 11, 8, 9, 4, and 2 are missing. 1 through one through 10. Uh, I'm going to go 7. Fantastic. Come on, dude! <laughs> I was waiting for him to be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I got this one. I can totally do this. Okay. And here is your movie. Andy, and here is your movie, Fresco. I I, I don't even know if I can get the fucking voice. <laughs> or Rocco, the old heavy smoker that offers alley handies. <laughs> did, did Rocco sound Mexican in the cartoon? So no, he was Australian. Australian. Oh fuck me! I the Wallaby. Australian. Well, too Damn. late. <laughs> See, I would have got it anyway. I hadn't seen it in so long. I uh, yeah, I was a little iffy about that one, but I, I wanted more <laughs> voices than scenes. So yeah, it, it makes sense now. Thinking about his shirt and all that. Ah yeah, <laughs> fuck. Good day. How are you? How the fuck are you? All right. Uh -huh. Um. If you don't mind, I'd like to do number two. Cool. By, by all means, boo boo, you take number two. Okay. I just got to figure out how the fuck to do this voice. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'm I'm opening it up. Yeah. Yep. All right. <clears throat> uh, oh, fuck me. Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> or can't you make up your mind? Oh my god. Hey, that's the trouble. I can't make up my mind. I oh my got god. a brain. Only straw. What? Alright. Uh... How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? Uh, I don't know. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I just want to throw out there, there could not have been a better scene for that collection of characters. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Andy, do you want to take a guess in who Fresco was playing? Oh, man. Um... I want to say he sounded like the slug woman from Monsters, Inc. You're close! Oh, that You're is really close! close. Damn. 
We'll get to that in a second. Fresco, do you want to guess who Andy was being the voice of? Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear is correct. That is yeah. one point for side splitters. And to get two out of the three potential points, what movie were you guys doing? Uh, that was absolutely The Wizard of Oz. The very Christmas movie known as The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's on there. Time. That's, that's on there for Eric and LH. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck um, yeah. So that's two points so, out of the three. Well, yeah, uh, we'll get there, Fresco. Andy, well, who yeah. were you playing? Oh, yeah, you already said Yogi Bear. Fresco, who were you playing? Tell Andy who you almost got. Andy, you were so close because she is a slug of a woman. Uh, it's, <laughs> it was Roseanne Barr. Oh, my God. <laughs> How good was that? <laughs> that was fucking good. <laughs> oh, man, that was really good. I'm just saying that was fucking good. Okay. <laughs> We got one more, and then we actually have a lightning round for this one. Oh. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I just talking about my turn. <laughs> All right, let me just set this last one up here. This one, this one's, this one's interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, you guys want to start telling me numbers? What's left? Uh, good question. Well, I know two's not. <laughs> uh, let me get rid of these last ones here. Seven's gone and 11 is gone. So we have one, three, five, six, and 10. Three. You'll take three. Okay. Giving you yours now. Jesse, one, five, six, and 10. I'll take one, two, three, four, five. I'll take five. Three for Eric. Oh. Five. For Jesse, <laughs> very nice. I kind of wish I had the J Man on here. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, let's see like here. Good. I'm looking forward to hearing this. And here is your scene. It's a bit longer than what we're used to. Oh, lovely. Ah, you'll be fine. Not super long. Just like a line or two longer. There you go. Actually spot on, right, dude? Like, that was really good. Fresco, you got a great Roseanne bar. Uh, that, and that, that's the sad part that, is was... that I could actually hear it, like, you know, thinking back on it. I'm like, wow, yeah, that did actually sound like Roseanne It was bar. really good. I honestly <laughs> thought, you know, we're talking about his Yogi Bear, because his Yogi Bear was pretty His good. Yogi Bear was good, too. But, I mean, that was a really good ro I I expected him to do a good Yogi Bear. I don't know why. But, fuck, that Roseanne. <laughs> I thought my mom was talking to me. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh who, who's one who's two for you guys eric pick i go first okay <laughs> hey what's with you what did you say just a minute ago what do you want to save me? That's what I was sitting down for. I'm your guardian angel. Mm. Wow. Oh my. <laughs> Sounds like a very rich guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Ridiculous of you to think of killing yourself for money. $8,000. Yeah. Just things like that. Now, how'd you know that? I told you, I'm your guardian angel. I know everything about you. Well, you look about like... <laughs> <laughs> well, you look about like the kind of angel I get. Sort of like a fallen angel, aren't you? What happened to your wings? <laughs> this this is worth every penny. This is worth every penny. I fucking hope so. <laughs> this is so outside my comfort zone. 
<laughs> I forgot I'm on camera too, so <laughs> I'm sure that was oh, fuck. fucking wonderful. That was My great. <laughs> <laughs> mine was a little, mine was a little rust, uh, rusty, but I think uh, his was uh, Christopher Walken, the great. Oh, that is correct, <laughs> Eric. Do you know who Jesse was? I don't know. It, I was, it was so, <laughs> so focused on mine. <laughs> he didn't even pay attention. It was so hard not to say a name. It was so hard to not to say a name. You, you got close. That was good. I, I, I gotta appreciate you kind of backpedaling there a little bit yeah. at the last minute. Uh. <laughs> Obviously, Christopher Walken, I had to throw it in there. Like I said, call me LH. Phenomenal Christopher Walken. Funny enough, uh, he didn't have to get picked. It was a chance that he wouldn't get picked. So I was like, man, I really hope someone picks this one. So well done there. And if I could say, I feel like that's a layup because anyone that attempts a Christopher Walken voice, no matter how close it is, <laughs> you're going to get off. it. <laughs> yeah. No matter <laughs> how far off it is, how close it is, you're going to know. But yeah. Stab you in the face with a solder iron. <laughs> uh jesse do you want to tell eric what, who you were playing i was mr burns yes mr burns from the simpsons and, and it was very hard Get not to say smithers yeah <laughs> uh and what movie did you guys do oh shit i look <laughs> <laughs> i was so concentrated on doing mine let me give me a second <laughs> i have a guess but i'm not sure you guess because i don't know is it it's a wonderful life it is in fact it's a wonderful it life a wonderful very life. good yeah, okay. very I've never good seen it so that yeah, was the really performance of my lifetime yeah. big pull for me <laughs> sure was <laughs> the fucking you know best me. performance side splitters has ever seen that's for that, damn sure <laughs> that is about as far oh out on the limb God. eric will go <laughs> this whole show has been the best fucking side splitter show ever i gotta say this has been phenomenal <laughs> you guys are on point today <laughs> Fucking, uh, like, we never fucking missed a beat. Okay, so we got one more to do, and that's going to be the last game of the evening. Uh, are we all we have to sing roll. We are the world. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got one more of the fucking, uh, the, the, the who cares about whose line it is anyway. But it's a bonus round. So I have to roll a four sided die to determine who's going to go. Not me. He's number. Two, so it sounds like it's going to be side splitters because that's fresco. So, yeah, I guess everyone got their wish. So there's really no reason to fucking explain anything. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fucking shit! Okay, all right, let me just fucking get this one together, and I'll send it over to you guys. I really think well, you guys are gonna have a good time with this one. Andy, pick your number. Hold on, I don't know which ones are left. It should be six and ten. Is there only two left? As far as I, I know. Thought I, I thought I did more than I needed. Uh-oh. No, there should be three left. Well, six and ten, I know, are, are two of them. So I don't think anybody picked one, right? Oh, you're right. You're right. That's, that's sure what I was thinking. Yeah, one was left. I'm going to warn you, this is definitely the longest one. Oh, boy. Come on, bruh. I, I, I'll, I'll go with one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Thank you for getting that off the... Okay. Uh, one uh, <laughs> is going to Andy. Okay. Do me a favor there, uh, Carnage. Uh-huh. Roll that six-sided dice of yours. If it's a one through three, send me six. If it's a four through six, send me ten. Hey. It's a two. You're getting six. <laughs> chitlins! Follow the <laughs> chitlins. There's number six. Oh my uh, god, it's long as shit. That's not that's that's your name, bro. That's not even a script yet. That's what character you're playing. <laughs> okay, well, this is slightly easier than the last one. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Last one was phenomenal. All right. <laughs> Here is your script. Oh. 
Hashtag for the chitlins. I fucking love that shit. <laughs> Get that in the fucking stream in the chat. That's beautiful. Uh, who's going to go first no, uh, between you two? Uh, huh. Uh, well, two is definitely more wordy. Uh, I don't know. How do you want to do this? You want to be the wordy part or the not wordy part? I can't find the beginning. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, all I right, got you. hold on, I found it, I found it, I found it. Right on, right on. You said two is wordy? Yeah, two two is definitely the most wordy of, of two the Two is exchange. definitely wordy. Alright, well then I guess I'm taking one. Okay. <laughs> Can I show you something? Oh... Uh. <laughs> For your wife, girlfriend? I, I guess it wouldn't be the Christmas shopping season if uh, the stores were uh, any less uh, hooter, uh, hotter than they are. It's, it's warm in here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold on, I gotta find myself here. Hold on. <laughs> you have your coat on. Oh, oh, oh do I? Uh, um, sure, 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 I do. Uh, how, how did that happen? <laughs> because it's cold out. Uh, could, could be. <laughs> So, you were looking at something? Uh, you know, I, 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 I couldn't help it. Uh-oh, I think he's lost. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right. Excuse me? Uh, get so tight. <laughs> 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 Do you want me to take anything out for you? I was just looking for something for uh, my mother, uh, her wife, and uh, obviously she doesn't wear underwear. And there's plenty of shopping days until uh, uh, left until adultery, uh, adulthood, um, uh, which is to say Christmas, uh, Yule tide, Yule, as in uh, Yule log. Uh, uh, not a log. I, I don't mean a log. I just I, I, don't, I don't have a log. I mean, you know, but I I do. Uh, but not in the sense that you think I said. I I I, I said uh, which I which I said, but not meaning what I said when I said it. Uh, it, it, it in other words, I'm 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 late. Uh, you, you've been very helpful and and busty, and I've enjoyed. <laughs> talking about my log and, and boy and you know tis ever the season to be a uh, huge uh, uh mary that was a mouthful <laughs> sure shit was holy hell <clears throat> that's my name uh huh mary uh christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know the oh, movie fucking... in it. I'm just picturing these voices <laughs> in that movie. Andy Bravo, dude. Good oh, job. Man. Good job. Oh man. <laughs> okay. So Andy, uh, what character for bonus points was Fresco playing? Uh Kermit the Frog? No, no. See, I knew this was going to be interesting because there's not a lot of dialogue for them to really tell you what that voice is. Fresco, what character was Andy playing? Richard Nixon. No, <laughs> it was no. not Richard Nixon. Was it Jimmy Stewart. No, it wasn't Jimmy Stewart either. Uh, oh. Okay, how about this one? James if that if that's what not movie was Nixon, it? Holy shit. Well, what movie that, was the it? The movie's easy. The yeah, movie I would hope is, so. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Right. Absolutely. 
but I could have swore that was Nitsen. Yeah. So, Andy, would you like to tell us who you were portraying? Uh, I was uh, going for Doc Brown. Uh, from <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Great uh, Which, when you, yeah, I mean, close. one great it's, Scott would have been, yeah. been very yeah. good. I'm surprised you didn't throw that in there. No gigawatts, nothing. You didn't throw anything yeah. in there. Well, I didn't want to add lines that would, like, deliberately throw it away. Oh, like, yeah. Marty. yeah, I guess you're right. Um, gotta go back. Jugs got it. Jugs knew who the hell I was. Jugs knew who you were. Uh, Fresco, why don't you tell us who you were? Uh, Bullwinkle. Yes. Oh, Bullwinkle. Fresco was Bullwinkle yeah. from Rocky and Bull, which was really good. I thought your Bullwinkle was really good, but it's just, you know, even I mean, DMG the score thought it was Nixon. I thought it was Bullwinkle or Grimace, the McDonald's Did you guy, guys? the purple guy. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a voice I haven't heard in years. Do they still run those commercials in the South? I don't. I don't we had a so. voice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so did you guys guess the movie? Yeah. yeah uh, did. Not that I really have a doubt, but yeah. Yeah. When when I seen you guys got the fucking bonus, I'm like, oh, this is going to be called collusion. I already know it. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't. Hundred percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and tally up those points real quick and that's that's it we get to determine a winner here and sign off Boo. uh while i'm tallying this up though i just want to say you guys have been absolutely fucking amazing and i could not thank you enough this was kind of last minute and I, I i mean we had a little bit of time to prepare i guess but like fuck we had a month what am i thinking we had plenty of time i did everything last minute that's completely different <laughs> uh -huh. That, that's about right. But yeah, that, you guys. Science fashion right there. Uh, oh, of course. Prepare for, so. Not at all. Well, I mean, for not preparing, you guys did fucking phenomenal. This was incredible. I couldn't have asked for it to go better. But all that being said, I do have the totals calculated. And the winner of the 2021 Side Splitters Christmas Collusion take off <laughs> I couldn't for think sure. of anything else uh, for sure is in fact team side splitters <laughs> 14 to 11 it was a close game uh, but come on did you guys really think the fucking title team title team that one wasn't gonna win <laughs> It had to be the home team because I mean you are a part of side splitters. So I mean, of course, this is like fucking watching the Harlem Globetrotters. Everyone we knows that you guys here are and win, make you look bad on your home turf. Yeah, yeah, we'll save that for the countdown to Geek Town show, right? <laughs> <laughs> so there's an ended, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so is side splitters. What are you getting at? <laughs> True. Oh fuck! Well, uh, while we kind of close things up here, can Wanted to find people in the chat. Be so great and find me a raid target, please. Um, oh, but yes, uh, also, if there was a request, what do you got? Who wasn't uh, chosen? Yeah, they, they want to know who wasn't chosen. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm so I'm so glad you guys remembered that. Uh, let's see here. We had left from there was only one, so right? Wait, wait, wait. Yep. I think just for a last little fun thing, uh -oh. you should send that name to each of us and then each of us has to do our version <laughs> of that person and see if anybody can get it In how about chat? this what wow. if what if what if i did it with another voice that they wanted to hear the chat wanted to hear final one takes all Ooh, oh tough. fuck yeah <laughs> no no he, he doesn't <laughs> want to leave it up to it collusion like, <laughs> fun, fact. fun fact fun fact 11 out of 14 is, or 11 14 is fresco's vision <laughs> Blaze <says so. laughs> i just want to point out you can't even fucking see andy's eyes and <laughs> people are talking shit not on fresco's all. vision not at <laughs> all. his glasses are fogged up no they're just that thick <laughs> show him some anime eyes there Andy. give him give, give him the anime eyes come on like give him some anime eyes let's see what you got oh man come on fucking hubble it looks like an anime character. Look at that. <laughs> I guess he gets the powder puff girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, so um, the last character. Do you guys want me to fucking to do one? 
Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. How about this? Yeah. Uh, I, I'll do one. Let's see here. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll run through one of them real quick. One of the shorter ones. I appreciate it. LH next time, homie. Uh, can, ooh, ooh, uh, Fresco, can you do Roseanne Barr again? <laughs> hey, uh, nutsack on your drum set. Fucking $20 dono. Oh, Out cheers. Oh, fuck. Thank you so much, dude. That's my cousin. <laughs> my boy. Thank you For so the much. Chitlins. 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 I did it. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Uh, okay, so yeah, here, you could do Roseanne Barr with this one. I didn't put a one on top of the first one, so I'll just be, uh, I'll be one, because you already did this one, you already did two, so I'll be one, you could be two, okay? Okay. And uh, do we want to do it where... What if we got the chat to be involved? And 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 uh, I don't really know what we're doing here, but you guys can guess mine if you want to. Uh, <clears throat> so what am I starting off? Is that what's happening here? I, I don't Did know. I say that? Which one am I? Uh, yeah, I believe so, but... Yeah, I'm one. Okay, here we go. You ready? Let me know when you're ready. I forgot we got to kind of give you some time here. Yeah. My bad. Fine. Uh, wait a minute here. Oh, the chitlins. Wait a minute. Ah, Which... oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, and you want me to do number two? Roseanne correct? Barr. Yeah, Roseanne uh, Barr, because that was so goddamn good. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure how to do this. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't think these were going to have to be done on me. Uh, <laughs> That's so easy, isn't it? Uh, I gotta get a drink on. See you tomorrow. Just don't come in to work <laughs> thinking of booze again. Don't worry about me. Get going. You'll be late for your Wizard of Oz candy bar guild thing. Fuck me. Alright. Lollipop guild. Asshole Jesus, two years old. The fuck? Oh, flip me shit better, better than you. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> that was fantastic. You trying to say something to me? Because my baseball bat and a J man will say something otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give it away. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I kind of, that was my guess anyway, but. Was it? It was. You trying to say something to me? Oh, shit, wrong one. Yeah, no, I read that. You said that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to stick my whole fist in your ass. <laughs> Let's go start to sound like Louie Anderson. You the sound bite. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Two youths. <laughs> That's all I got, man. That's all the voices I got. So what, One was thing Joe I will Pesci? say. Is that what it was? It was not Joe Pesci. It was Harley Quinn. I'm sorry. It was Harley yeah, Quinn. Harley Quinn. Oh, I was series. guessing Marissa Tomei or something. At first, I was leaning towards <laughs> Roger Rabbit, and then, you know, when the more New York thing was pronounced, I'm like, oh, that's Harley Quinn. Okay. Yeah, I really tried to fucking... That's the most high-pitched I can go, I guess. <laughs> Louis Anderson. <laughs> Mr. I'm <Ben>. Louis Anderson! <laughs> <laughs> um... Fun fact, I do want to point this out. I've already told the guys this one, but, uh... A lot of my stream and DMG knows a character that I portray every once in a while by the name of Aunt Peggy. And I just want to let everyone know here and set the record straight, Aunt Peggy actually originated on this very podcast long before I ever did my first stream. <laughs> so without Team Side Splitters and Team Geek Town here, we would have never had a fucking Aunt Peggy for the Carnage stream. So there's that. <laughs> we actually had... Uh, Fucking Christmas carols one year where we all did voices. Well, me, Andy, and Fresco did voices and sang Christmas car carols. That was a horrible, horrible idea. It came out so bad. <laughs> I 
I don't remember that. <laughs> oh yeah, they were really bad. I mean, they were good. It just with with where we have gotten in our production value, they could be so much better. <laughs> He's very I amateur. I still like the 12 Days of Christmas, personally. Yeah, 12 Days of Christmas was great. Oh, that one was good. That one was good. <laughs> yeah, that one. That's the exception. My uh, my boss. Aunt Peggy singing. A pear tree. <laughs> my Aunt Peggy singing. Should I play? Can I play? Would you guys mind if I played that? Oh, we might get the MCA strike for that. Never mind. For yeah, what? No. Oh. Because it's technically copywritten though. song. Yeah. Is it a copywritten song? Well, I mean, mm-hmm. like, I, I understand that, you know, people singing it can copyright their version of it. But oh, wait, no. I don't know about the, like, the only thing I think you would have to worry about, because we're the ones doing the singing. Mods, help me out here. Oh, oh we'll, we'll leave it to the DMG mods. It with the, the uh, beat music. In the background. Yeah, the yeah. music, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. We did have the music in the background, too. We did, yes. Yeah, I don't know if that's royalty-free, never mind. Suck his dick, play with his balls, and make him a sandwich, Aunt Peggy. And there was shut the fuck up in there too. <laughs> Suck his dick, play with his balls, shut the fuck up, and make him a sandwich. That's uh, Aunt Peggy's four uh, top things to please any man. Aunt was, Peggy wilding out. Aunt Peggy is kind of crazy, man. Aunt Peggy is kind of crazy. She, she's, you know, Aunt Peggy going Aunt Peggy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That old bird <laughs> animated or Margot. I guess I was trying to aim more for the animated version. Um, so you said, Man, I got a bunch of different raid targets. <laughs> Can I have one raid target? Here's 50. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, let's see here. I seen BKB, I seen Plopsy. I see Trav. I see a couple of nerds. I see DMG TV. Oh, that's us. <laughs> what if we did? Um, can we Oh, I'm sorry. You guys are kind of new to Twitch here. So at the end of a Twitch stream, uh, it's all good. At the end of a Twitch stream, what we tip when we tend to do is we raid another streamer. We're done. That's the end of the stream for us. <laughs> we're pretty much done here. So we're just going to close things out. But before we do that, we find another streamer that's live right now and we bring all the viewers over to them. Gotcha. You with me? Yeah. So, uh, BKB, Plopsy, <laughs> fucking goddamn use. Use. Uh, let's go, BKB. Did you just say? Nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> Stay off my grass. <laughs> Get off my grass. Oh, man. Well, uh, thank you guys so much <laughs> for tonight. This was fucking fantastic. And I, I'm saying that to both the the audience, the chat, and to you guys, this was fucking dope as hell, and a hell of a way to close out uh, the first night of the new week. Is that no? This is this is the the, the no. never mind. What the fuck am I talking about? The first fucking side splitters Christmas episode in like years. I don't know how many years it's been. I don't even remember how many years it's been since we did a side it's splitters. Been a few. But this shit yeah. was fucking dope. I fucking love the fact that we got to do it. Uh, so anything you guys want to say before we close out? Uh collusion <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 worry guys uh we'll 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 try this again on the next next side splitters christmas episode because you know <laughs> south will rise or whatever <laughs> I get an eight more years. uh and if you guys want uh this this offer is extended to all four of you fresco you already know you're welcome but uh the dmg discord is actually currently uh having a bit of a voice chat right now so if you guys want to join us there i'm probably going to be heading there after we're done here uh 